Today is Cinco de Mayo, a day celebrating the Mexican Army's victory over France in the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862. There are some Cinco de Mayo events happening this weekend. Denver's Community Parade is Saturday. That's from 11 to noon downtown. The Celebrate Culture event at Denver Civic Center Park is Saturday and Sunday, and Denver's Westwood neighborhood is having a community celebration. That happens on Saturday. And Denver 7's Veronica Acosta shows us an impressive, colorful, and important part of Mexican culture and Cinco de Mayo celebrations. The wide green, purple, red, and yellow skirts are more than just part of an outfit. They help define a culture. It keeps families together. These are the Colorado Mestizo dancers, back together after two long years. It's great. It's really great to get everybody back together again. The group, founded more than 30 years ago, is helping keep the Mexican culture alive. It's important to the community that they not forget. And having a good background of where you came from and what your culture is, it gives you a good guideline to your future, you know what I mean? To set some good some good roots and to know where where you're from and what your culture is. The seven girls in the circle are just starting to learn ballet folklorico. If they can count to three and if they're potty trained, they're ready to go. A role Idolin Garcia knows all too well. She was one of the few born into the group, sticking with it for the past 15 years. It's definitely showing like who I am and like I'm not just some girl that's out there that does that knows nothing about her culture. I know a lot about my culture because of the dance group. One of the many dances they perform, called Jesusita, is among her favorite. It tells the story of a woman who helped a group of soldiers fight in a war. <laughs> holding on to their culture throughout the pandemic without dancing was easy. It was holding on to the venue where they practiced that was hard. Having mirrors on the wall, that's one thing that we miss in a dance studio is being able to have the girls see what they're doing with the skirt work and the right placement um, because they can't necessarily see. Despite the challenges, instructors and organizers say keeping Mexican culture alive by teaching these dances to new generations is the goal and what they'll continue doing. Look up, smile big, look over your shoulder. In Denver, I'm Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. Now the Colorado Mestizo dancers are in need of a studio and if you'd like to help you can find more information by clicking on this story on the denverchannel.com.